Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this hair bun updo. It looks more polished than your typical hair bun and it's really easy to do. If you would like to learn how to do this, then keep on watching. Start off by brushing your hair and gathering it into a ponytail. I like to place it above my head and to the side, that way you guys get a better view of what I'm doing. But if you prefer a lower bun, then go ahead and tie your ponytail lower. It's all a matter of personal preference. Now I'm going to divide my ponytail into three equal sections. Using my hair clip, I'm going to clip each section out of the way. Now that the two sections are out of the way, I'm going to grab some water and spray one of the sections to dampen it. Using some gel I found around the house, I'm going to place them on my fingertips and I'm going to work it onto my damp hair. Now that my hair is damp, I'm going to divide it into two equal sections and I'm going to place one of the strands over the other and twist it counterclockwise. Then I'm going to take the other strand, place it over that strand, and again, twist it counterclockwise. And basically, whichever way I'm placing the hair over, I'm going to twist it in the opposite direction. That will make the twist stay in place. This is called a twisted rope braid. If you would like an in-depth tutorial, then follow the link down below for one of my older tutorials. Keep in mind that if you twist in the same direction that you're folding over, then ultimately your twist is going to unravel. Use an elastic band and tie the twist in place. When you're done, it should look like this and it shouldn't come undone. I'm going to release another section of hair and I'm going to show you guys one more time how it's done. Don't forget to dampen your hair with water and gel. This definitely keeps the flyaways at bay. Divide your hair into two equal parts and place one strand over the other clockwise and then twist it counterclockwise. When you've created a bit of a twist, Place the other strand over again, clockwise, and twist that counterclockwise. When you get really good at this, you can actually do it faster by twisting the strands together at the same time. That's how I usually do it, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing it this way because I find that it's better for beginners. When you're done, it should look like this, and this is a cute hairstyle on its own, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather it, and I'm going to place it around my head into a bun. When you have the bun in a nice shape, you want to grab some bobby pins, and you want to pin the base down. For me, it usually takes about six bobby pins, so take your time. To keep the center from bulging out, I'm going to press it and flatten it and then pin it down. This creates a beautiful flower shape. To keep the hairstyle polished, I'm going to use hairspray and comb down the flyaways. Ladies and gents, this is the completed look. I think it's perfect to wear to any event and it's really sophisticated and chic and to me it almost looks like a flower. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and thanks so much for watching. Bye! Subscribe to my channel for more hair tutorials.